Hello everyone and welcome back to Pepples Pottager. Today is May 16th, 2021 and it's been a little while since I've done an update on the tomatoes and the Pottager garden. So here we go. We're going to start off here in the greenhouse and as you can see my tomato plants are doing very very well and so are the pepper plants. As you know on the last video I did with the tomatoes I'd uh, potted them into six inch pots and since then they have grown to at least three to four times that size so you can see they are doing quite well and these are the brandy wine black right here and you can tell that just by looking at the large leaves there these are the large potato leaves and the cherokee purples are here uh brandy boy are here and got some carbon tomatoes right here and fourth of july tomatoes and then down here I have a lot of the peppers. I've got the ninja peppers, which are right here. And this is the island Islander pepper, which is uh, a purple pepper. And these are the confetti peppers, which are actually a variegated pepper. And you can now see some of the variegations starting to come out in the leaves here. And uh, as the bigger they get, the more you'll be able to see the variegation. But you can see all the peppers doing well. I have some more down here on the floor of the greenhouse and then over here i do have some zinnia and uh, a lot of the basil that i had uh, indoors that it was growing indoors i now potted them into some larger pots some of them don't look like they're doing too well but uh, hopefully they turn out okay and then i have a nice big tray of nasturtiums down here and i already planted some of these in the bed i planted squash in so let's go ahead and uh, we'll go outside the greenhouse here and we'll take a look at what I got going on in the pottager. All right, so starting off here in this first bed, I planted some Dunja zucchini and some tempest squash. And I planted at least two of each. And this one here is not really doing so good at the moment, but I think it will rebound. Wasn't looking that great. It's kind of wilting a little bit, so I don't know how well it'll do. But the other ones here are doing well. And these are the nasturtiums I planted on the outside of the bed here. So they'll be growing along with the squash. And then over here in the this big 4x8 bed, over on the end there, I planted some sugar cube melons, which I plant I've been planting them every year for at least the past three years, I believe. Uh, but I'm going to let them sprawl wherever they want outside the bed, maybe up, up the bed a little bit. And then down here on this side, I may be planting some watermelon. I haven't completely decided that yet. But uh, I believe that's what I'm going to be planting here. And then checking up on the strawberries. They are doing very well, although I do think they are in need of some fertilizer. Uh, but you can see I do have some strawberries ripening there. There's one right there. And... Uh, there's one down there coming out. And then you see a bunch of green ones down here on this plant. So they're doing very well. I'm pleased with how they're doing, especially considering I'm not uh, really an expert on growing strawberries. So I'd like to think they're doing well. They all have uh, some green strawberries on them right now. A few of them have some ripe ones, or almost ripe. But, uh, Let's go ahead, we'll move on over here to the peas. And the peas are doing well, except for maybe a little yellowing down here on, on the bottom. They might need some fertilizer, not sure what's going on there. But the ones down here on this end are doing well. But they are about a quarter of the way up the trellis and doing, doing good. Uh, I can't wait to see how well they fill out this um, pea tunnel here. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the other side real quick. Uh, this side seems to be doing much better uh, than the other side. No yellowing on the leaves at the bottom or anything. I hope that doesn't mean they have some sort of disease or something. Uh, this is actually the first time I've grown peas. Well, it's actually been a few years since I've uh, grown peas. So uh, I hope they do turn out well. And then the blackberries over here 
are doing well. Not as many canes this year as there were last year. I see a lot of new ones down there at the bottom of the plant are coming out. And like last year, I did plant some pumpkins in between some of these plants here. I do have to do some weeding and pulling some grass out of here as well. But uh, these are called renegade pumpkins. And I'm just going to let them sprawl wherever they want. Down here is a new uh, blackberry bush that we planted to replace the other one that just didn't come back. And then let's move on over here to the greens. There's quite a few weeds growing up in here with the plants, so I need to weed this out a little bit as well. Um, these are the white Russian kale, and you can see I'll probably be picking some kale here before too long. They're doing very good. We've got some colored greens there in the back. They're doing well. And then there's some Swiss chard up here coming along nicely. And then let's move on over to the lettuce. And then this is the Tendita lettuce. It is growing a little slower than I wanted it to. And uh, so we'll just wait and see how well it does. But the Starfighter lettuce is doing very well. I think I'll be picking some of this here soon. And then we got the baby leaf spinach over here. Uh, some of these plants are lagging along. I don't know if it's because I use transplants or what, but they seem to be taking a long time to uh, uh, get up there to where they need to be. And then back here, the Nero Tondo radishes. You can see a squirrel managed to get in under the wires over here and dug a hole in the middle of them, or right at least there on the corner of them. Uh, but so far, uh, no radishes. So I hope they turn out well, but uh, I tend to not be having uh, uh, an easy time with uh, radishes here lately. I guess it's all a matter of the weather or whatnot. But anyway, I did plant some carrots right here. Uh, and you can see there are a few carrot plants coming up in there now, along with some weeds there that I need to pull out. But uh, they're a little hard to see in this video. But uh, we'll wait and see how that does. And then over here in this bed, this is where I'm going to be putting my tomatoes in. As you can see, I just raked it here, here a little bit. So this week I'm definitely going to be putting the tomatoes in the beds. Um, along with some of the peppers. Uh, I've decided I'm going to plant the Brandywine Blacks in this bed which is probably going to be on that side and the Cherokee purples uh, some brandy wines um, not brandy wine I mean brandy boy up here and then I'm going to plant some carbons up here maybe uh, I may switch that around I don't know exactly where I'm going to plant them but those are the four uh, plants I plan on putting in this bed uh, some of the other plants I just may give away I'm just not going to have enough time to take care of those or I don't have the time to put them in containers and stuff so I may be giving a lot of the uh, black pearls and uh, the 4th of July's away since I'm not going to have any place to put them. I may decide to grow uh, some more tomatoes uh, come June. Maybe I'll plant them in containers on the patio in the fall. Um, but, uh, you know, just didn't have... Uh, enough space or containers to put them in right now and I've been really busy so those are the only four that I may be growing this year at least early on in the season and then over here I have uh, some angel hair squash this is uh, spaghetti squash and uh, I planted them here at the end of this bed and I do have a cage over it just in case some birds or something try to dig it up and I am going to put some on the other squash in the other bed as well just to keep uh, squirrels from digging in there they tend to get in here and dig out the plants sometimes um, but uh, I'm just going to let them sprawl wherever they want and then over here on the bean arbor you can see I do got to pull off some of the old growth here but I'm going to plant some, I believe they're called Carminot uh, beans they are a purple green bean, so I can't wait to see how well they do. I'll probably be planting them sometime this week now that the weather is actually starting to warm up. Later in the week, uh, 
we expect temperatures to near 80 so things are starting to get a little bit warmer and on the inside here I do have I believe these are Queen Sophia Marigolds and they are looking great right now not too tall but I planted on both sides and then I'm gonna step up to the and then patio here, here is the peach sorbet blueberry bush and as you can see it is doing very well this year this is the third year uh, for this blueberry bush that I planted in this pot I did uh, put some mulch around it this year I didn't have any mulch around it last year and it still did well but you can see it's just loaded with blueberries they're not ripe yet but uh, once they do start getting ripe, I'm probably going to have to put some bird netting or something over it because I did have some birds or something grabbing some of the berries off of here. So uh, looking great this year. Really, really filled out a lot. I'm happy with how it's doing. And then this is a strawberry shortcake raspberry bush. It's coming along nicely. Uh, don't have a lot of growth on some of these older canes, so I might have to snip those off. But you can see a lot of new growth down here at the bottom some new canes coming out here or there uh, not looking quite as good as it did last year so uh, I hope uh, it makes a comeback this year uh, for the rest of this year and uh, that's all I have for right now if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching everyone